the fact, of course, we both know Carl. Yeah. Um, when you first heard of Megan Thee Stallion, um, you you was in the radio then, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I, matter of fact, we the first people to interview Megan Thee Stallion in my podcast. Me, R.I.P. My man Dip Arachi, uh, uh and uh, Glam. It was me, Glam, and Dip, and Free My Boy Ben Frank. We had a podcast. I think Frank was. In I remember your podcast. I got mad at you about that podcast. Why, nigga? I was upset with you about that. You, you had princes on there, and the nigga gonna say this. You the oldest. You, your store the one that's the oldest been rocking this. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, nigga, oh, that nigga forgot about us. He, hey, but you know, you know, you said it. Hey, I definitely did. But you know what I did? I, yeah. <laughs> I said that nigga. Well, he camp over there. That nigga camp, nigga. Hey. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. My mama thought I saw dope. Just for three hours. Yeah, yeah. My mama thought I saw dope. Yeah. She was like, how's you buying all this? And the catch was, I was literally spending my whole check. Paycheck. I was giving it to you. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I ain't even need no more. I ain't need no money wow. to go out. I got to ask you about, <laughs> I got to ask you about, I remember I said I was going to ask you about Carl Crawford and, uh, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, man. It's all over the I, I wanted I wanted right to now. talk about it because of the fact, of course, we both know Carl. Yeah. Um, when you first heard of Megan Thee Stallion, um, you, you was in the radio then, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I, matter of fact, we the first people to interview Megan Thee Stallion in my podcast. Me, R.I.P., my man Dip Arachi, uh, uh, and uh, Glam. It was me, Glam, and Dip, and Free My Boy Ben Frank. We had a podcast. I think Frank was in I remember your podcast. I got mad at you about that podcast. Why? Nigga, I was upset with you about that. You, you had princes on there, and the nigga going to say, this, you the oldest, you, your store the one that's the oldest been rocking this out. I'm like, nigga, <laughs> nigga oh, that nigga forgot about us? Hey, hey, but you, know, you know you said it. Hey, I definitely did. But you know what I did? I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Over there, that nigga camp, nigga. Hey, and you know what? Like, she know me well. She like, yeah. she, they know the OG is here, though. Even trip, like, I've no, been doing we this. We see each other at the Magic Show Collective. They all we, see us. Yeah. we see Princess every single they, six and, months. They rock there. with us, bro. Cause they, I've been around for all of this, man. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I like, and I don't. I think it was because we humble mm -hmm. and we stay out the way. We stay out we the way. We ducked off. And a lot of people. And, and, and I'm gonna say this. I gotta say this. A lot of people like, man, why you move the store over here? Why you move the store over here? I come from the streets so I really don't want everybody coming to me <laughs> you don't hear me man <laughs> so I, I I move how I want to hey, move sometimes sometimes it better be out the way than in the in way in the way so we always move like that people always said why you not in the mall why you, you don't do this and why we had the finances I just I'm a hustler so first of all you can't get to your store at night in no damn mall so I can't do that bro we had customers yeah, calling us at 10 11 12 I need to open the store I need the drip Thank and I you. give it to him every time. I need the drip Thank every you. time. And if it, it puts go to sub, I know, man, because you can't get in big T out the house. You can't exactly. get to it. Can't get in the mall. So out I don't the house. play those games. I'm a hustler. So, you, so I, you wake me up out of bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? Hey man, you know, hey man, you know, hey man. If I get up now, you know, don't waste up, my time. You can put your price on Come it. Come on now, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. So you get it. Come on, man. It's a sleeping nigga fee. I'm an old man now. So, so, I, I start saying shit like, I'm an old man now. That's me. That's me. Like, you know, I'm normally in the bed. I got bad, family. Man, you know, so I'm I, the hey, nigga, I'm thinking about fat bastards. This nigga worried right. hell out of me, man. I'm like, this nigga called me, man. I'm going to go up here, man. I, you got to come, man. Ain't nothing open. It always. I got to go to the club tonight. I got to come. And, and, and there's certain niggas that would call me, so I could never do that hustle like everybody else. Yeah. I, my mind said... I'm like, I can't read that. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. But I just want to go back to the uh, uh, Carl Crawford, mm -hmm. Megan Thee Stallion. Like you say, y'all interviewed her first. And uh, when y'all interviewed her, was, was, they, was she with Carl then? You know what I'm saying? RP to her mom. You know what I'm saying? Her mom was her actually mom was there. there. Okay. Crawford was there. Okay. And they was just now like starting a partnership. So, you know what I'm saying? I, like when we interviewed her, we actually booked her at our club. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We had rumors at the time. And I got the footage and it was, it was crazy. It was like it was super packed. Like the girls went crazy over her, but it it sucks because it was her power as an artist and her network and her growth that made her big. But it was cause finances that helped contribute to it. So it sucks it's because they needed each, each other. other. It's collective. But like now, it's to the point where it's like she this side saying, "Well, we ain't need you," and this side like, "Damn, like." 
But it's like, God damn it, both of y'all, y'all wouldn't have been, y'all wouldn't have worked without each other. But what I well, can't understand. Well, in the music, because Carl was yeah. already, you know, he, he had was financially finances, well, yeah. well yeah. off. He still is, so. So it's like, but you know, I, I got a great relationship with Megan, and I got a great relationship with Carl. So from my understanding, from me actually, she was the first artist to come to Dallas and tap in with us. It's like, man, y'all needed each other. And it sucks y'all don't got each other because y'all could have did so much more mm -hmm. than what's getting put put out there. But at the same time, it's still a business. But it goes back to like what you said even about a group. It's pride and ego that breaks anything up. Hey, man, it's business, though. The catch is, hey, man, Carl had her riding around and Ben, ben Sprinters, two of them, had her riding with 30 girls everywhere she go. You couldn't do that on your own finances. Mm -mm. Wow. Like you was doing this Everywhere, new outfits. You know, Megan went from slick her ponytail to bundles, and you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. It's, you got to think about it. Like it's just it's not cheap. That shit not cheap now. But what I can't understand is, I know with going back and forth with all the court cases and all of that, why she don't just go ahead and give him what he wants so she can move on with her life. Man, you know, and I because can't. when you a talented artist, you can create so much more and just be. Great. Yeah, but it's it's like she 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 got the right to feel like she she feel like she worked for that. It's like if you work for your name and then somebody say they they want it because they had it first, you gonna fight for it. Yeah, and you can't blame her for fighting for it. You can't blame him for fighting for it. It's, it's a it's a fair game. It's just now you got Now you got you got to treat this shit like business. Take it to the courts. What the judge gonna say? Yeah, and at the end yeah. of the day, those are unrepairable relationships. But, yeah. on the end too. And, and hopefully, it, they get past. They can go it. either way. You don't ever know which way it's gonna go. And that, it sucks. It sucks for it sucks for the culture because that's Texas. And you know what I'm saying? And they didn't did so much. Like look at look at what she done done in those years. Mm -hmm. Because we what well, we brought her back in like what 2017, 2018, and look at what she done did in the last five years. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like it sucks because man, you I I'm 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 for anything dealing with Texas. Carl from Texas, Megan from Texas. I'm for everything that's Texas. That's how we are. You know that's what I'm saying? saying. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, you in the you in the midst of it right now, nigga. Yeah, so I want I want everybody to win and it sucks they gotta deal I with mean, all Texas that shit. Texas great again. You know what I'm saying? You know, it sucks <laughs> they gotta deal with that shit, but at the meantime, you know it's still business now. It's right. business. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.